Welcome back, it's Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video we are going to discuss third normal form. Now make sure you watch the previous two videos because these build upon each other. In order to be in third normal form, you have to first be in second normal form. In order to be in second normal form, you have to first be in first normal form. So it's kind of like this chain. Third normal form is going to be the most strict. That's because second normal form and first normal form have to be done and it's going to have some of its own rules. So let's talk about those. Once again, this brings up the concept of dependencies. We discussed dependencies in the last video and a couple of other videos, but essentially, when you have a column, that column depends on the primary key. So on our bidding selling website, let's say we have a listings table. And inside of this table, we're going to have the primary key of listing ID. We'll also have some other data. We might have a price and a category. And we'll also say what that category is about. So we have a category description, and that's going to describe the category. You could also have a column in here, item description, and that could be something custom to the user. So let's say you're selling a bicycle, you could say, hey, this bicycle's brand new, I've only driven it like eight times. <laughs> it's not very brand new, but that seems how people list things. It's super legit, it's autographed by this person, whatever. But the category description is something exclusive to our website. So for example, the category might be transportation. And then the description of this category is going to be the same for every transportation. So we could say stuff to get places. And that describes this category. So we'll add this bike on here. We'll say it's $100 and it has the listing ID of one. Now let's say someone else gets on here and adds a car to the website. Listing ID of two, its price is $3,000. Its category is transportation and it has the same category description. Now let's talk about what columns depend on the primary key. The price depends on the primary key because if you were to change the listing ID, you're gonna be talking about a different item and the price will likely change. So this depends on what listing you're talking about. The category also depends on the listing ID. That's because every single item can have its own category. So if you change the listing ID, It'll be a new item and the category is able to change. Category description, believe it or not, actually describes on listing two. That's because if you were to change the listing ID, let's say we had another item in here and it cost $10,000 and the category is toys. Now let's look at this value in relation to the primary key. If we change the primary key from one to three, so we stop talking about the entity with the ID of one, and we start talking about the entity with the ID of three, you can see that the category description does change. So it does depend on the listing ID. That is in contrast to a column that's completely irrelevant. For example, you could have a column of the top selling items for that day. That's completely irrelevant to the listing ID, and even if you change the listing ID and go through all of the different items, the top selling item for the day is always going to be the same. So that would not depend on the listing ID. The odd thing though about this column is it's a type of dependency known as a transitive dependency. And what that means is it depends on the primary key through another column. So it actually depends on this category which depends on the listing. So this arrow can be erased and you can see that the category description is still connecting to the listing ID. So you get this kind of Hop. These are bad and third normal form says you're not allowed to have transitive dependencies. The solution to fix this is actually very easy. So you start at the primary key and follow the arrow back one time and you grab this column here, category, and you break that off into its own table, categories. And now all we have to do is have a category ID and then we can put all of our categories in this table. So the category ID, category, category description. Then we take this category and move it down here. So we could give it a category ID of one, and then the category would be transportation, and then the category description would be stuff to get places. And now you can replace this with a reference. So the category is going to be one. Same for this one. And you can see it reduces redundant data by adding another table, one. And this is redundant too, because we have all this information in here twice that we don't need. We can actually just get rid of this column altogether. And we also need to add this row though. So we'll say two toys fun for all. And then when we need to reference this row, we can just put a two. 
and that means this column is no longer needed. That's it for third normal form. Hopefully you guys understand that whenever you have a transitive dependency, all you have to do is grab what the, the, uh, the closest to the primary key. So you could have multiple jumps, for example. You wanna grab this one and put it into its own table. And the chances are you'll have this problem again and you'll need to put that into its own table. If you like this video, be sure to click like. And if you're new to this channel, click subscribe because that'll help you get notified of all of my upcoming videos. And on the bright side, it's free. Yeah, it's free. It's free. So thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.